Hey everyone. So I've been working uh, lately or planning a uh, design uh, based off of a uh, FPGA and uh, going into dip trace I uh, was uh, going to create the component for it and I noticed that there's really no simple way to import a pin list uh, into uh, dip trace for creating the uh, component. Basically, you know, in previous tutorials I had shown how you can use the shortcuts to uh, create groups of pins and so forth and that's fine. You know, if you got a you know twenty pin component or something that's not too big, you can create it simply. You name all your pins and you're done. But you know, it's it's really not as ideal if you start getting to larger uh, pin count packages. Like the FPGA I'm looking at is a hundred pin package. You know, you could do it manually. It'll take a little while, uh, but you run the risk of typing something wrong or, or who knows what. So I thought there might be a better way. So looking through dip trace, I noticed that there is this functionality for importing. Uh, what they call a dip trace ASCII file. So I thought it might be neat if we could take a simple uh, CSV, a comma separated value list of pins, convert it into this format that dip trace expects and uh, be able to just import those pins nice and easily. So I've been working on something to do that. Um, it's almost 100% uh, polished, ready to go. Uh, it's far enough along that I can kind of show you guys uh, how it works. So I thought I would do a quick tour. So here is the, uh, the, the web page for the FPGA that I'm looking at. Uh, this is their, uh, basically the support documentation. And on the site they have a zip file you can grab which has uh, the pinouts as well as uh, some pretty neat uh, footprint files in Excel. Uh, it's a really cool way to show the different pins and functions and so forth. But I'll go ahead and download that. And we will extract it. And we'll look in the tables. And I'm looking for the VQ100. This is a 100 pin package uh, that we're going to be working with. And if we open it up, you can see it's pretty straightforward. You know, they have a sort column uh, pin number. And then they have pins for uh, two different versions of this particular IC or FPGA. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to upload this into Google Docs so we can use their uh, editor. So I'm going to upload a file. That was the VQ100 pinout. I have conversion on, which should uh, convert it into a spreadsheet. There we go. And here's our file. So the converter that I'm working on here expects this file to, to mainly have two columns. First column is going to be our pin number and the second column is going to be our pin name. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get rid of uh, this first uh, sort pin column. We don't need that. Just to make sure that my pin number is the first column. And we're going to make this for the, the 250 version here. So I'm going to get rid of 100 stuff and extra columns are okay it'll just ignore anything past the first two columns the only other thing I need to do real quick is get rid of the header row uh, the importer expects the very first row to literally be the very first pin so we'll get that out of there I may change that in the future add an option to check off if it includes a header row that might make the most sense all right so there are our 100 pins all right, next I'm going to go up to File and I'm going to download this as a CSV file. There we go. We'll go over to my converter. Now as soon as this is all polished up and confirmed working the way I want it to, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and publish a link for it uh, over on my website, Um But for now, let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to choose that file that we just created. Here it is. This is the one from Google Docs. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to click to upload the file. It's a pretty quick process. Uh, basically, I have some PHP in my website that reads through the comma separated pinless file and it modifies it into the ASCII format that DipTrace is looking at. And we can take a quick peek at that. It's a fairly simple file, um, a little archaic maybe, uh, doing this kind of stuff in, in such a basic ASCII file. You know, these days you might expect to see something more like XML or something like that, but it works. Just uh, just have to be careful with uh, spacings and so forth uh, and format 
for DivTrace to understand it. But fortunately, this little converter that I uh, wrote here does that all automatically. So the file itself has a couple of sections. It's, it's just a very basic import. All it's going to do is import the pins for us with names, uh, which is really the big time saver. We can worry about moving them around after. Um, so that's basically the file here. You can see the different pin numbers and so forth all the way through the last pin, which happens to be pin 100. All right, now for the fun part. All right, now in Component Editor, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go up to Library, and we're going to go to Import, and we're going to import a DivTrace ASCII file. Now, notice I didn't open up any existing libraries. It's going to want to create this in a new library. We could always copy uh, this uh, component over to our an existing library later. All right, so I'm opening up that DivTrace ASCII file. Uh, the open dialog's up. up. Uh, I'm looking where I saved it, and we have this library.asc, that's our DivTrace file. I'm going to go ahead and click open, and there are my pins. All 100 of them. Uh, in the order that they were uh, in the spreadsheet. Pretty simple. If we go to the pin manager, you can see they're all imported over here as well. Uh, they're basically uh, just offset by 0.1 inches, uh, which is a nice offset for your schematic layout layer later on, so you don't have to worry about moving them around too much. Uh, of course, we're probably going to want to group them up in you know groups of uh, I don't know uh, 25 or so or, or 50, however you want to lay out your package. You can always grab uh, the subset of pins, and then you can grab the second subset if you want them on the other side. And we can move those, and then just use spacebar to uh, rotate them. So it's pretty easy to, uh, you know, lay them out on the component editor the way that you want them. So, and that's basically that. So uh, we were able to take a, uh, a basic uh, pinless file available from the manufacturer's website, convert it to, over into a simplified CSV file, upload it into my converter here, and get all the pins and dip trace. Nice and simple. Uh, like I said before, as soon as this is uh, ready and polished, I will be publishing a link for it over on my website. And I'm sure that I'll be sending out a tweet about it as well, just so everybody knows. All right, well, that is that. Thanks for watching, and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys in uh, DevTrace again soon. All right.